Elvis. It's the J. Craig Movie Review. Movie Review. A movie with you. Hey there, friends. My name is Tina. I am the wife of Jay from the J. Craig Movie Review. So this past weekend, I went and saw the movie Elvis, and since I am the biggest Elvis fan in this house, I've decided to hijack their podcast YouTube channel uh, to do my own movie review of the movie Elvis. There are lots of pros and cons about this movie. I went into this movie with very low expectations. There have been many movies and biopics done about Elvis, the king of rock and roll, over the last 45-ish years. Um, so I went in with very low expectations because so many of them have been done so poorly over the last almost half century. Um, so I'd heard about this a while back and I started seeing that the Presley family was promoting it. They were saying nothing but glowing, wonderful things about this movie. But that's not always convincing either because they maybe had some money invested in this movie. I have no idea what their role was, but I will say that I share in everything that they said about this movie, that it's emotional, that it's powerful, that it is so well done, and it is just truly a great movie. So I'm going to start there. So I went from zero expectations, very low bar, to walking out of the movie theater thinking, wow, this is a great movie. Really happy that I spent two and a half hours to see it, because that is a long time for a movie. So coming on the scene, um, out of nowhere, is Austin Butler, who plays Elvis. Also Tom Hanks, who plays Colonel Tom Parker. Had no idea that he was going to be playing Colonel Tom Parker, so that was a nice uh, surprise. And Olivia de Young, uh, she played Priscilla. I can't say that she was the best choice for Priscilla. I think that there could have been some much better uh, choices, but it was fine. But it was a really well done movie. The director, Baz Luhrmann, uh, my husband, who is Jay, uh, he knows all about Baz. And he said he's a very good filmmaker and now I believe him because this was a really well done movie. So the cons were that it was a little flat. They didn't exactly follow the 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 spike in his career and then the the quick downfall of his career. They didn't really follow that in the timeline. It was just a little flat. Um I will also say that they kept him way too skinny for way too long in this movie. Um, if you've seen Austin Butler in any of the promos, he is a very tall, lean guy. Um, so I'm sure like chunking him up for this movie was probably not the easiest thing to do. So they really did just wait until the very end. And I thought that that was a little in inauthentic. Um, but some of the pros were that I think that it was an interesting perspective to see how a former carney, Colonel Tom Parker, basically attached himself to the career of one of the biggest stars in the world. And it really did explain a lot about how Elvis is, how his his brand really, and his whole persona really ended up being kind of campy and kitschy. It was because he was being guided through his career by a carney. That was so interesting to me. I'd never read that before. And uh, that was just an interesting twist. Um, another pro is that, you know, it's a really, like I said, a very well done movie. They have a lot of clips uh, from shows that he did and just things that were happening in real life through the timeline. And I think that they did a really nice job of putting all of that together. Um, and then really you leave this movie feeling like you learned something and that you felt something about Elvis. And I feel like that hasn't happened in a really long time. So after the, the, the house lights went up after the movie, everybody just kind of sat there and took a breath for a moment. And you could feel that collective, like, warm fuzzy happening in the entire theater. 
it was not it was not what I expected. I I was really fully expecting to leave that theater just mad because they they ruined Elvis's persona once again, but then I was pleasantly surprised. So, really happy that I went. Uh really happy that I brought my 8-year-old. I think that everybody who sees this should take the time to go and see Elvis at the theater. Um, the music and, and the way that the, the movie is done, you will appreciate it so much more in a theater versus on your TV screen at home. So please take the time, go see it, and I think that you'll enjoy it just as much as I did. Thanks so much, and uh, I think I got to get out of here because I think I hear Jay coming. So I'm going to scram. Okay, bye. Hey, what's going on? Who are you talking to? That's weird. Hey, it's the J Craig movie review.